Yeah. Athletic. Uh, just what's the emotions in the immediate aftermath of something where you guys come back two games and then have that sort yeah. of intended? Well, first, c congratulations to the Vegas Golden Knights. You know, I thought they played a perfect elimination game. Um, came in, they went to another level we didn't we didn't get to tonight. Uh, deserved to win, and uh, you know, if we can't win, um, you know, there's some guys in that dressing room there that I really hope can win a cup. You know, I, I watched Mark Stone and Jack Eichel and Martinez and. Riley Smith, rehab, you know, tons of, over tons of games and months last year. The adversity that group dealt with last year and they're healthy now and playing. So, you know, if we can't win, there's a lot of guys in that dressing room that uh, I hope can win a cup with what they've been through. Um, real, real disappointed for our group, not, not in our group, for our group, uh, for the way the season ended. You know, for the the time and, and commitment and energy that group put in to the season, you know, shouldn't end that way, shouldn't feel that way, but that's hockey. I think, um, you know, it was a case of Vegas went to another level and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe one too many nights of us going to the well in an elimination game. I think that was our fourth. You know, I don't think Vegas has played one yet. Every time you go to an elimination game, you know, it takes a toll physically, mentally. You know, it's hard to refill that tank over and over again. And, um, you know, I just didn't think there was a lot left tonight. On the right. Hi, Pete. Hey. Taylor Baird, NHL.com. We hear a lot about how teams have to lose in order to learn how to win. Mm -hmm. um, so how can your group build upon this season? Well, we'll, we'll you know, look at everything uh, once we it and, and look at it. there's a lot to be proud of uh, there's only four teams left standing uh, out of 32 so um, you know and I don't think at the beginning of the year a lot of a lot of people had us penciled as one of them so there was a lot of a lot of work put in by our group a lot of pride in in the work they did we beat two very good teams to get here Minnesota and Seattle and, and they both took a chunk out of us doing it you know we, we didn't have an easy path here, and that takes a toll on you too as as you go through. So, um, you know, we'll we'll see. But you can learn, obviously, every time you lose uh, on what you have to do better. Left side, second row. Pete, yeah, Derek Van Dien, Stanley Chill. Com. I just want to go back to that trying to climb out of that three nothing hole. There's there's a reason only four teams have been able to do it. Yeah. Um, but is it like you talked about the emotional toll? But is is it that and physical and playing from the edge of a cliff every game? I guess is that kind of all build up yeah I think it does I think I think I think it does I, I think uh, you know that desperation level going to that place as a player um, you know takes takes a lot of energy and you know it's hard to refill that when you've got to do it you're not doing it you know once and then going to the next series you're like we did in game seven against Seattle and then started you're doing it you're asking your group to do it Four, four times in a row, so and that, that's tough, especially when you're playing a, an excellent hockey team on the other side. In the middle, fourth row. Hi, Pete. Leah Simakoff, hey, Leah. Dallas Morning News. So you talk about kind of being in a tough position in elimination games. We've talked a lot about Jake in elimination games. Mm -hmm. When you look at how he played tonight, do you see it as if he was kind of put in some tough spots or yeah. he ran out of gas? How do you analyze his No, we, 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 we put him in some tough spots. You know, you can't ask him to win that game by himself. I, I think he was part of our group. I think, uh, you know, he, uh, he went to that place a lot for us uh, through these playoffs and down the stretch, you know, to, you know, to get seating. We had an injury to Wedgwood. We, we, we asked an awful lot of him. I thought he had a hell of a, se a season. Um, you know, he was, he was our backbone all year and you know, that game isn't on him. If, if there's a, probably, I feel bad for our group. I feel worse, you know, that he ends a season like that because he doesn't deserve that with how he played this year. Right side, third row. Greg Wyshynski, ESPN. Hey, Pete, Greg. Um, they were able to build a 3 nothing lead in the first period twice in your building. Um, yeah. Is that them being an elite road team? Is it some deficiency with you guys? What did you see in, in that case? Yeah. 
No, I, I think that's a fair uh, question. I think, um, you know, our starts in some games, our starts to series, you know, I think, honestly, I think the series for us, uh, um, you know, game one, we didn't uh, play well, found a way to climb in, lost in overtime. Game three, we self-destructed, you know, so you hand two two games away uh, at this time of year, it's, it's, it's a big ass to get back in, so. There's no doubt that was a, a factor. Fourth row, right side. Coach Mack Engel, for Telegram. Hey, Mac. Um, was Jake Ottinger or any of your players playing with major injury uh, here in this round? I, well, they, you don't get to this point in the season without uh, all kinds of injuries. I wouldn't call any major; they wouldn't be out there. But you know, we had a lot of a lot of guys uh, dinged up, and Jake did play through the playoffs with some injuries. Yeah. Last question, front row. Hey, AP, um, you were brought in to, for, for a long haul, and, and you know, like you said, not a lot of people had you guys here. How, how just impressed are you or, or you know, whatever of your group, the way they kind of bought into you and your system and everything right from the first season? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, really, really proud of our group and the hockey we played. And, um, you know, I, uh, like I said, I think uh, it's a tough tough way to end a season when you know there's been so many good things that they've done so that'll take a, a few days to get over but I think when we reflect on it I think uh, you know I, I, I think they'll be very proud of the the work they put in this year they should be